YouTube. Greetings to everyone. Let me get this set up here. Try to get this. How we looking? How we looking here? Let me see. Is it balanced? Is we balanced right? Let me see. Uh, can't see my my man in the background here. As you guys know what it is. All right. I think we good right there. Okay, YouTube. Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a long time, but I'm here back. I'm back in the game here. Had a lot of stuff going on. Been real busy, but uh, we have some exciting stuff coming up here, especially for 2017. So I'm gonna talk about my languages and some updates, upcoming updates for the future. So. <clears throat> Basically, as you guys know, many of you know, um, my current languages that I've been working on are Finnish, Polish, Hungarian, Macedonian, and Bulgarian. I'm going to talk about each of those. So starting with Finnish, Finnish is going well. Um, I'm still taking some, some beat downs with that language. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's still going well because I've been very consistent practicing when not with my partner. Um, and Finnish is going to be a long-term language. I've mentioned this before. I plan on spending at least two, maybe two to three years learning that language. Um, just because of the simple fact of how difficult it is and how, how much time it takes to get used to things. Um, and I really like the language and I don't mind spending that much time on that language. Um, some people may ask, well, why do you, why, why would you want to spend that much time? What do you plan on doing with that language? Well, I feel that it's a high reward once I um, become very comfortable and used to everything because Finnish is a very, it's not a common language. So many people don't understand about that language. They don't understand how difficult it is and what makes it difficult. But um, it's, uh, it's a very, it's a, they say it's, a, it's, an, it's one of the, yeah, it's one of the most isolated languages in Europe, you know, and uh, it's very different, it's very difficult. And it takes a lot of time and dedication to really get used to things. You know, it's a difficult language. It's it's probably yeah, it's one of the most difficult languages that I've, I've ever I've ever learned, um, no doubt. And I've been doing this language stuff for a long time. So I feel that spending that much time on a language like Finnish and being able to uh, you know adjust, become adjusted to all of those obstacles, all those difficulties. Um, it will it will be it will be a high reward high reward and I'll feel a, a huge achievement uh, going through that process so that's why I plan to spend that much time on the language two three years you know that's what I plan to do so yeah I, I still meet with my partner with for finish um, we meet like at least three four times a week um, and yeah you know, as 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 with other languages, if you stay consistent, you keep meeting meeting your your partner or native speaker practicing, you just make progress. You know, so I'm taking my time. I'm I'm not in any rush for trying to uh, finish the language. Um, I'm just enjoying it and um, just um, you know just taking it easy and just just learning a lot more interesting things in the language. You know, I have a cool partner too. He's very cool. So that 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 makes the uh, learning process even more fun. Um, Polish, Polish. Now, Polish hasn't been as consistent as Finnish, but I still practice it when I can, especially on Hello Talk. Um, I, my partner, it's been off and on. It's been off and on because of the, uh, certain things that I've been, you know, I've been going through and just time constraints, you know. But um, the language, the language hasn't been uh, completely ignored. I practice it whenever I can on the Hello Talk. And um, that's the most important thing. When you get busy, when you have a lot of things going on, you just have to um, you, you just have to plan accordingly. You have to see how you'll be able to fit that in, you know, for whatever language you're learning. The practice, you know, you don't want to totally ignore ignore the language because that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna, that's gonna be serious. You're gonna start forgetting a lot of stuff. So Polish. You know that's going good. Um, like I said, it's not as uh, consistent. It hasn't been as consistent as Finnish, but I'm still practicing that language. And um, as far as time duration, I plan on spending like a year or two on that language as well. Um, considering it's not as difficult as Finnish, 
but it's still a difficult language and um, it's going to require some time. So I plan on spending like a year or two on that language. Um, so that's what Polish. Um, what's next? What else? What's next? What's oh Hungarian? So this is a language that I just started. This is the actual. This is actually one of the languages for 2017. Um, I'm three weeks in, and it's going going very well. Um, my partner, he's a cool guy. He's he's actually in hun Hungary. Um, I meet with him at least three or four times a week, and um, yeah, that's that's going really well. I use Hello Talk. I use Tandem. And there are a lot of native speakers for Hungarian, a lot of native speakers. So that 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 helps um, with learning more uh, natural language and you know the culture and whatnot. So Hungarian is going well, and I can't really say much about difficulty as far as uh, grammar, but um, I will say that uh, I plan to learn Hungarian probably for a year or two, maybe a couple years. I'm going to spend on that. Um, yeah, those are long-term goals. So Hungarian, Finnish, Polish, those are going to be long-term goals, considering how difficult those languages are. Um, what else about Hungarian? Hungarian, yeah, the pronunciation is funky, very interesting. I, I would definitely say that the pronunciation is more difficult than uh, Finnish. But again, the grammar, I can't really make too many comments about that yet. Um, I, I need more time with the language, and then I can, I can see... Um, how difficult and how, how similar it is with uh, <laughs> with Finnish in that in that respect, you know, because they say that Hungarian and Finnish are distant, re they related, they're dis distant cousins or something like that. And um, I see some things, uh, interesting things. Uh, you, yeah, before I forget, I want to mention some things about this Hungarian. I I noticed that um, one thing I really noticed that was interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, I got a, um. One thing I noticed very interesting was the. Um, sorry, guys, I got a. I I, <laughs> I went to the barber shop. I got a little bump here. This things. Okay, there we go. So, um, one thing I noticed was the. Um, they now someone told me that Hungarians are descendants of Mongolians, so this is that's probably the reason why I discovered this. But I noticed that um, their word for woman is very similar to Chinese. Yes. In Chinese, they say nu, like nu for woman. In Hungarian, they say nu, nu. They say nu. I believe that's the right pronunciation, nu. If I'm, if, uh, nu. Yeah, it's like nu, nu, nu. It sounds like nu. It's, it's very similar to that. And um, what else did I learn from there? Oh, and then like as far as being related to Finnish, um, they say minna, minna in Finnish for to go, and they and in Hungarian they say minni. So I noticed that being similar, and then there was something else. It was because they say han in Finnish, they say han for he or she, and there's this word in Hungarian they say it's like, uh, it's like hanu or something like that, but it means it doesn't mean he or she. It means that. It means that he or yeah he or she they uh, they got sick they threw up or something like that. It was like hand new. I can't remember the word, but it was hand new. I thought that was interesting because you know in Finnish they say hand for he or she. Um, what else? That's it. So yeah, Hungarian very interesting language and it's going to be a good, great future for that language. Uh, Macedonian. Now Macedonia, I just finished level one. Um, it's Macedonian is quite an easy language. Um, however, I, I really do enjoy learning that. Uh, my partner, he's a cool guy. I learned a lot uh, meeting with him. We've been practicing for two months already. Um, and there's really not a whole lot to say about Macedonian. It's, you know, I, I, I would say that I had a little head start because of the fact that uh, I learned some Russian in the past. I, I'm able to read the script. I just had to learn like a couple more words or letters uh, in that Macedonian language, which which weren't which weren't difficult. I, I wrapped them up pretty quick. But um, yeah, um, Macedonian, it's yeah, it's 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 easy. But, you know, as usual, as I, as I always say, that you have to put that work in. Um, if you want to get, if you want to be able to speak, you know, fluently, 
you know, converse with people, you you have to still put that work in no matter how easy the language is. But compared to a language like Finnish, it's yeah, it's pretty easy and I I just learn things rapidly. I ain't gotta I think I I ain't gotta worry about too much like conjugations and they don't have cases, so it makes the process a lot more easy than learning something like Finnish. But as far as my goals for that, <clears throat> I'm gonna do level two. I start level two for that um next week. And once I finish level two, that's gonna be it. So probably I will have spent like six, maybe seven months learning Macedonian. And after that, that's it. I'm not trying to go higher than that. You know, I should get I should be able to get to like a B2 level um by the time I finish that. Um Oops. Yeah, I should be able to get to a B2 level by the, by the time I reach the end of level two. But um, yeah, I don't have any long term goals for Macedonia, you know, because uh, like I said, it's it's really easy. It's an easy language. And I think I'm going to learn a lot more uh, through, you know, leveling up with native speakers and just talking with people in general. I'm going to just learn more like that. You know, I'm not going to go in 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 serious depth uh, learning that language. That's just those. That's just my goal. Um, Bulgarian. Let me talk about Bulgarian. Now, I told you guys that uh, I wanted to do some extra things uh, because Macedonia, I felt that it was too easy. So I felt that doing Bulgarian at the same time would give me some extra to do. But um, Bulgarian is not going as well as 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 um, as Macedonian because of the fact that my partners, um, I found two guys. Uh, one guy, he's in Bulgaria, and the time, like, because of the time difference, it's been very difficult to meet with him. And then there's another guy, I'm not sure if he was in he was in Bulgaria, but um, he, we, me, me and this guy, we, we were doing a language exchange. Like, he wanted to learn Chinese, and he, you know, I was helping him with Chinese, he helped me with Bulgarian. But he recently came down with the flu, so he's been away, and I haven't really been practicing Bulgarian as much as I would like to. But um, I'm not really worried much because um, because I'm doing Macedonia and I know that Bulgarian is very similar to Macedonia. It's just a matter of me practicing with someone, you know. And Hello Talk, surprisingly, Bulgarian being a pretty a pretty huge language, um, I'm not able to practice that language over there very often. I'm sorry, I got a message. I'm not every, I'm not able to practice that language very often on Hello Talk, and you know. <laughs> If you're not getting practice with that language with a native speaker, then it's going to be very difficult to make any type of progress. So, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, I'm not I'm not that I want to drop Bulgarian. I still want to do it, but it's just that's just how things been. And um, I'm like, uh, I haven't even gotten to week three yet. I'm like week two Bulgarian. That's how far behind I am. So I just finished Macedonian level one and I'm only on week two of Bulgarian. So. You know, hopefully my, my, my partner recovers well and we can get back on Bulgarian. I could pick that up because I, I really do want to learn. I, I mean, I already, like I said, learning Macedonian and, 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 and Bulgarian being very similar to that language. It's like, why not? You know, and I have some great plans in the future as far as leveling up. I plan to go to Chicago and, and many of you, as many of you know, Chicago has a large population of Bulgarians and Macedonians. It's going to be really interesting getting Polish. Macedonian, Bulgarian, you know how sloppy that's going to be? That's going to be crazy when I go up there. I'm going to get Polish, Macedonian, and Bulgarian, in, and possibly Finnish. So that's the deal with my languages right now. Um, moving into 2017, um, what I want to do, what I want to do is, because uh, I'm doing Macedonian right now, I want to do, let me see, four languages. After, let me see what I want to do. The other language I want to do are uh, Albanian. I want to go back to Croatian. Um, this is for 2017. This is These are new languages that you guys will see me probably working on in the future. Albanian, um, back to Croatian. Um, what are some other languages I want to do? Albanian, Croatian, oh, Greek, and one more. What was the last one I want to do? Greek and uh, I don't know. I'll remind you guys later. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, those are my languages and that, those are my plans uh, for 2017. Um, 
my level ups, we about to be back on schedule. Uh, just to let you guys know, tomorrow or t either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to release my uh, Macedonian video. You know, my first Macedonian video, and I'm going to level up. Uh, I plan to level up on Monday, to be exact. Because the place I'm going to, I don't even think they open. Yeah, they don't open on the weekend. So I'm going to go on Monday, and it's going to be very interesting. It's basically a car dealership, and it's Macedonian. It's, it's owned by Macedonians. Um, we, 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 we'll see. Someone told me about this place, so I'm, I'm going to see what I can do there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna also ask them if they know of any other places where I can uh, practice Macedonia because, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a, yeah, now that I'm back in the game, yeah, it's going to be some serious leveling up going on. So I'm going to release that level up next week. Um, probably, let me see, if I go level up on Monday, I should be able to release it on Tuesday or probably Monday night. We'll see. But definitely next week. Um, I'll make a, um, after it happens, I'm going to make a video and just kind of, you know, hype it up a little bit, tell you guys what happened before I release it, you know, and let you guys know the, the day that's it's going to come out. So that's my upcoming plan for Macedonia. And um, also for the future, I'm going to be traveling to um, Chicago. I'm going to go to Chicago. That's going to be my next out-of-state level up mission. Ah, that's going to be my next out-of-state mission. Go over to Chicago, do some leveling up in Macedonian, um, Polish, Finnish, and Bulgarian. So um, I'm hoping by that time I go, I will have finished level one of Bulgarian. I want to I want to at least finish Bulgarian level one before I go up there because I know they I know there's going to be a lot of a lot of Bulgarian practice up there. But um, other than that, what else? What else can we talk about? So I'm going to be getting back on my regular schedule. The schedule that I was on before I stopped, like releasing videos every week. I'm even going to, I'm, I'm even going to release the uh, throwback videos. Get back to those. Um, I'll have my questions video. I'm going to I'm going to uh, start that back up, and um, just you know basically what I was doing before. I'm going to start that back up. Even my Polish tongue twisters, I'm gonna start those back up. So that's what that's that's what we can look forward to for the future. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, let me know your plans for the new year. Uh, what language you plan on doing, and just your plans in general. But anyway, I'm almost 20 minutes in this video. I didn't want to make it too long, but it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh yeah, you guys see my shirt? This is my uh, Planet Fitness shirt. So I've been working out, uh, been doing that for for a while. You guys, I mean, if you remember, um, I put some videos up. I was up at I was up at Lifetime Fitness, but now I'm at Planet Fitness. Um, this place, Planet Fitness, is closer to where I live, so it, it doesn't take that long. Whereas Lifetime, I it took me like 30 minutes to get there. So I chose a different place. It's closer. They got everything that I could do that I need to uh, get my weight up. Um, and I got some stuff here at home. I got my uh, I got my pull-up bar installed up there and I have my ab roller that I got. So yeah, we still doing that. We got a lot of things going on, a lot of things going on. But that's what about, that's what, that's what, that's what uh, being motivated is all about. And I'm a highly motivated individual and I can't be stopped too motivated. But anyway, let me conclude this video, 19 minutes, and um, I look forward to you guys' uh, responses and questions, and um, yeah, again, let me know what your plans are for 2017 and what language you plan on working on. That is it. Lao Shu 55,000 is out of here, and it's about to get serious. It's about to get serious. See you guys.